Henry Bibb was an American-Canadian writer, publisher, and abolitionist. Henry Bibb was born on May 10, 1815, in Catalonia, Kentucky. Bibb would marry a mulatto slave named Melinda in 1833, with whom he had a daughter named Mary Frances. In December of 1840, he managed to flee his way alone to Detroit with the intention of securing safe passage for his wife and daughter. However, during this time, Melinda was sold as a mistress to a white plantation owner, and the family would never reunite. In Detroit, Bibb focused on his career as an abolitionist, joining the anti-slavery movement and traveling throughout the United States to lecture. During this period, he met Mary Elizabeth Miles, a member of the Anti-Slavery Society in Boston, whom he would marry in 1848. In 1849, he published his autobiography, Narrative of the Life and Adventures of Henry Bibb, an American slave written by himself. In 1850, the Fugitive Slave Act was passed, which increased the danger to Bibb and his wife. The Bibbs migrated to Canada and settled in Sandwich, Upper Canada, present-day Windsor, Ontario. Bibb set up the first black newspaper in Canada in 1851, The Voice of the Fugitive. The paper continued to be printed until a fire destroyed the printing house on October 9, 1853. During 1851, he also helped found the Refugee Home Society, a black colonization project established in Detroit to help meet the needs of fugitive slaves living in Canada. On October 21st, 1852, Bibb was elected president of the Windsor Anti-Slavery Society. Bibb would continue publishing a one-page newsletter until his premature death in Windsor on August 1st, 1854. Abolitionist, writer, and publisher Henry Walton Bibb left behind an incredible legacy.